This is my best buddy in the world, Mark. And he just slept in the van for the first time in his life. How was it, buddy? It was cozy. <laughs> was it actually? Uh, pretty cozy. I don't know. Like, there's not a lot of headroom, like you were saying in the video, so. But you have to give, like, so this is a proper review, though, right, for people who don't know. Okay. So, like, okay, the bed itself, yeah, not a lot of headroom, but what about living in a van? What about the sleeping in a van part? Um, it's honestly not that bad, especially when you have, like, a bed like this. I don't know, like, it really helps. Cool. I see the we camp just outside of Mark's house, so probably not necessary, but hey, get to try van dwelling for a bit. We're gonna make some breakfast, get some coffee going, gotta shoot downtown, we're gonna meet up with some friends. It'll be a fun day today. Nice. This is one of the new things I just bought. It's a hand cranked coffee grinder. Um, it's really small, very portable, and hopefully we'll Definitely increasing the quality of life in the van. Because fresh ground coffee is the best. I uh, I don't know what Mark did to these bagels. See, I cut his bagel with a knife because I'm an adult. Yeah, I, I cut his bagel with my fingers. So like, so pro tip, all you gotta do is you just gotta go Rip a nobody bit at a time and then go around in a circle. Nobody and wants you rip to half and then you rip the other half and then it just nobody, works. Nobody wants to know how you mess up bagels, Mark. The life lesson. It's like a it's like a jerry rig, you know. Like you don't have knife, no big deal. But 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 then again, what kind of like psycho like buys non pre sliced bag bagels, you know? Like Mark, you've lived in the lap of luxury for too long. I guess so. You need to learn to cut your own bread for damn sakes. Yeah. Fuck. Well, I'm just so embarrassed. All right, it's fun hanging with Mark, fun uh, doing that little drive, but it's time to get to work, so I'm gonna take the bike, head downtown. later that shoot is done um, I think that's the only shoot I have today which is very bizarre I have a lot of editing work to do so I'm gonna go hang out with my friends over at Bridgehead sit down and do some work in a coffee shop because that's what you do when you live in a van sit up in all the nice coffee shops across the city and uh, do work on your computer It is rude and unladylike. This is like. for you. No. <laughs> <laughs> She's so rude and unladylike. Oh my god. Don't you think so? No. Yeah. No, I agree. Made it back to the van. Gonna make myself some lunch. You know, in a van, the sandwich is king. Like, honestly, I eat sandwiches so much, and it's so good, and the fact that you are limited by how much you can store actually helps you, because it means that you eat healthier. You eat uh, small portions, you eat fresh portions, so I'm doing a big ol' sandwich. <laughs> Thank you. 
Just like this, hot summer day, having a little lunch, nice and cool in my van. Wouldn't trade this lifestyle for any other. This is really great, it's really good. My mom called me up and told me that uh, some of my packages has come in the mail, including the new, uh, new levers for my motorcycle. If you'll recall when I bought my motorcycle, right away it fell off the back rack of the van and I broke my clutch lever. So I bought a new set of levers, they've arrived today. I'm gonna do some reconditioning on the battery and then we'll fire it up and see how she sounds. Apparently it's not exactly an ideal fit, but Maybe I can bend them a little bit. So, if you look here, I'm just charging up the battery because it's gone flat from starting it so many times. This here, this is the lever I ordered. This is it sitting kind of nearly flush. It doesn't sit in the hole all the way proper. And on top of that, so I can set that to the maximum setting and I get about a centimeter of travel. Not quite enough. So I'm gonna have to be a little bit pickier about where I'm ordering my parts because these guys sent me the wrong one and it took like six weeks to get here, seven weeks. Yeah, not very impressed. Yeah, well, we'll order something else. Uh, I'll figure it out. All right, I gave up on the motorcycle for now. Uh, I'm gonna have to source some other parts, I guess. Um, I don't know, I also really, really want to redo the, la the rear spring and clean up that whole back section, but uh, Maybe I'll just get it on the road first. I'll do that first. Anyway, I'm going to go see my first ever professional baseball game ever in my whole life tonight with a bunch of friends. And uh, I heard that they do hot dogs when you have baseball. So because I brought my house with me, I'm going to make hot dogs in the parking lot. This is my version of a ballpark hot dog. A little fancy, got a little focaccia bread thing going on here. Got a hot dog, avocados, slices of tomato, chopped onions, mustard relish, and on top, fried mushrooms. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And I made this in a parking lot. Mmm. I my second hot dog and a bunch of strangers showed up in my van. Now they're all sitting here eating hot dogs with me. Fit four people into uh, at the chair. We we pull out the side wings like this, and uh, there you go. Four yeah. people. What do you think of parking lot hot dogs? I love it. Always I think I like can. it more than normal hot dogs. I believe in parking lot hot dogs. <laughs> you don't care about anything. <laughs> Unlike the good stuff. Really all right, let's go. All right, let us. All right, we're heading inside to go do sports stuff. Yeah, sports. Sports, 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 sports. sports, sports.
<laughs> you are so happy right now. <laughs> Get it, get it, get it. By the Ottawa Special Event uh, Center. Uh, Ottawa oh, Special no. Event Center. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that really has gotten our group screaming and cheering has been the promise of free pizza. Sports fans. These guys right here. Pizza fans. <laughs> Just got a bingo, which means I get free tickets for next week. So did, so did Jess. You won tickets too. So we're gonna have to bring more friends next week. So yeah, we won some free tickets and uh, I'm gonna have to take Mark, I guess, and two other friends, if I can find two other friends. Joey, you wanna come? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I wanna come. So, so. Joel already won. So did we show Ashley? Okay, so everybody, pretty much everybody won free tickets. So we've got like a mountain of tickets. We're all gonna be back here next week. Yeah. What's going on? It's Thursday. Katie, I didn't think we were We didn't win the game, but I feel like we we won the game. Yeah, it was a good night. Synchronicity. Yeah. We're not from here. <laughs> you like you literally live like a, what a few blocks from here. All right, we are uh, driving pretty much everyone home. And uh, Ashley has decided that this is an appropriate time to make hot dogs. Yeah, girl. Who wants a wiener? Yeah, want wiener. <laughs> I mean, for safety's sake, definitely don't do this. Who wants but for a awesome sake, do this. As long as you don't film and drive, it's okay. Mustard, relish, are all in the fridge. Highway hot dogs! Dropped everyone off safe and sound. Now I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go park up near my gig tomorrow. And that's it. That's all I'm doing tonight. Good night. <laughs>